I finally have a sunflower. From March to August is all it took. And I have one more that's coming on. Yay! And my marigolds decide to bloom. What a weird year. I was actually patient enough. I was actually patient enough to get my first red bell. Okay, maybe not totally patient, but my first red bell pepper. Woohoo! Yay! I had a little problem with the fence post. What you doing? Digging a hole a little deeper. Yeah. You had to bust out all that old concrete, huh? Yeah. From around the post. That was easy with the axe. It just Good. Back into the axe. Look at the chain in there. We don't have know? a decent heavy hammer here. There's a chain in the rock. Yeah. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. Yeah, it's going to take about 15 minutes probably. Yeah. Put some quick treat in there and get her done. I'm just going to dig it kind of deep. Yeah, a lot of rocks in there, huh? All right. All right. The post is up and it is solid. It's not going anywhere. Does it move? We're, we're going to put these rocks around there anyway. But it's done. That's a good feeling. So a couple weeks ago, we met a guy on the river and you know what guys do they start talking and chit chatting and he had something that we've been looking for for a long time and um, it's gonna be our new project the boss is really excited uh we could even though it needs just slight repair it's not it floats it doesn't leak uh, so there's a, there's a clue, um, but we want to reseal it, and uh, I'm going to show you what it is. There we go. It's an old canoe. It's fiberglass, and uh, we're going to sand it down gently and repaint it and seal the inside, redo that. But yeah, we got it for a steal. It's so cool. This tomato plant is out of control. It is taking over. And so is this one. So it's time to get those cut down. Don't you think? I do. There's the pile. Oh my goodness, yeah. Plant number one, now I'll actually be able to see the tomatoes. And they're not covering up my green beans. And plant number two. The problem is, it was getting so big, I couldn't find the tomatoes. So let's just go ahead and pick these. One more. Oh. Uh, next year, y'all, remind me. One cherry tomato plant. Just one. I, I only need one. Because they grow so huge. So huge. Oh, my chickens, some tomatoes. Look, my green beans are really starting to come on nice. I have already have a whole bowl, good size bowl. So I had to leave them alone. You have to leave them alone so they'll grow. One thing I've learned this year is to be patient in my gardening. Especially this year, it's been the most unusual gardening season 
but I had to learn to be patient and just let nature take its course and not rush everything. Um, so, yeah, now everything's starting to come on and, and uh, grow like it's supposed to because we planted very late this year. And, uh, yeah, it, it really put a damper in the gardening process for us. I mean, it was not a usual year, so I'm happy to, to see everything coming on. I thought my green beans were lost, so, all right. <laughs> I just wanted to show you those tomatoes. They got a haircut. <laughs> so my cats love getting in the truck. What are you doing in there? What are you doing? <laughs> Gotta love them. All right, well, I'm trying to decide what to do with my garden over here. We got absolutely zero cantaloupe and, uh, well, we got one, it rotted. We got two uh, watermelons, they rotted because we had squash bugs. I have sweet potatoes in here. And um, it's really a jungle. So, I guess I'll just leave it for now. And then when we harvest the sweet potatoes, so everything will come up. But it's so peaceful. Everything's so peaceful. The ducks and chickens are just walking around having a good time. I have something growing back here. When we had uh, the pigs, we gave them pumpkins. And, and I haven't been back in this pasture, but I think we may have some pumpkins growing right over here. Do you see them? I don't know. I don't see any pumpkins. So I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. There's some right there too. I don't know if the cows will eat pumpkins or not. Hmm, not sure. Maybe they will. If they do, they probably already ate them. <laughs> so, I'll show you what the boss did for me. Let me turn it around. So he built these little braces for the cage. And uh, they're working out pretty good. Working out pretty good. And there's a tomato plant over there. I've got to go get cut down. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. Be blessed and love well. Bye now.